in this source data, we have three columns. First column contains team details. Second column contains closed tickets count. And third column contains feedback requested count. We do have null values in the source data. For example, team DRR does not contain closed tickets and feedback requested count. Due to this, we will get blank value in Power BI visuals. Let's see how we can handle this blank value and replace blank value with zero to show zero instead of blank with the help of Power BI DAX function. In Team Slicer, if I select DRR team, then data will get filtered and I can see only blank in card visuals, but I don't want to show blank as a result in card visuals for my clients. So I want to replace this blank with zero. For this, I need to create a new measure for writing DAX functions. We renamed the initial name of the measure with closed count and type equal sign to write DAX function to replace blank with zero in Power BI. We use DAX function if to check a condition and returns one value when it's true. Otherwise, it returns a second value. Inside of if DAX function, we use sum DAX function to get the total of closed tickets count. We provided the condition as if total of closed tickets count is equal to zero. If this condition satisfies or true, then result should be show as zero. If this condition fails or false, then it should return the sum or total of closed tickets count and close the if function using closing parenthesis. Again, we need to create one more measure for replacing blank with zero for feedback requested count. To create a new measure in home tab, Select new measure. The DAX formula bar appears. We renamed the initial name of the measure with requested count and type equal sign to write DAX function to replace blank with zero in Power BI. We use DAX function if to check a condition and returns one value when it's true. Otherwise, it returns a second value. Inside of if DAX function, we use sum DAX function to get the total of feedback requested count. Also, we provided the condition as if total of feedback requested count is equal to zero, if this condition satisfies or true, then result should be show as zero. If this condition fails or false, then it should return the sum or total of feedback requested count and close the if function using closing parenthesis. In closed tickets card visual, we will replace the closed tickets column with closed count measure and it will show zero instead of blank. In feedback requested chord visual, we will replace the feedback requested column with requested count measure and it will show zero instead of blank. To watch more videos like this, visit our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. To book your slot for online training, visit our official website petakatechnologies.com. To get notifications on upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.